What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who are waiting for jailbreaks on iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 12. A new proof of concept exploit that is able to escape the sandbox has been released. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software PDF Element 6 which allows you to edit, combine and convert PDFs on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below. Just a few hours ago this account in here Bright IAP, has posted quote just release a POC which means proof of concept of CVE 2018 4415 and I will talk more about core animation and he posted a link in here. Now you can see a lot of people tagged me into this and asked me what this is so I'm going to talk about it. Now if you go ahead on the link in there it says quote integer overflow in core animation. So this is pretty much a vulnerability an integer overflow in the core animation component on both macOS and iOS. It's been fixed in iOS 12.1 and macOS 10.14.1 which means that it's compatible with iOS 12.0.1, 12.0, 11.4.1, 11 11.4 and so on, but not with iOS 12.1 which is currently the only signed version so please do not update to that. Now this one is not a kernel exploit and this one cannot be used to get the task port for the kernel TFP0, but this one is a sandbox escape and it says in here quote one more Mac service com.apple.ca rendered server is reachable from Safari sandbox on both macOS and iOS. So this is pretty much a sandbox escape and if exploited right this can result in a proper sandbox escape that may be usable in a Houdini like application or a TornGat update or a TornGat like application. But at this stage the way it is created right now this is only a proof of concept so it would still need a proper exploit to be released since this is a proof of concept. Now if you look in here it says quote the bug has been fixed in macOS 10.14.1 and iOS 12.1 one. Since the interfaces and structure of messages are inconsistent between different versions, this POC may only work on macOS 10.14 and iOS 12.0, but it's very easy to replant it to another version. So although this has been tested to work on iOS 12.0, it can easily be adapted to work with 12.0, 11.4.1, 11.4 11 and so on. So if somebody decides to write a uh, proper exploit for this vulnerability that has been released in here for CVE 2018-4415, we might be able to have a Houdini update or a TornGat update since this one is pretty much a sandbox escape. Very useful for a jailbreak but not a kernel exploit and therefore not everything that it takes to make a jailbreak. So I really hope I cleared up everything about this uh, vulnerability in here and this POC and definitely check it out if you want to. The uh, code is available in here and I'm going to link it down below. But of course till the next time I'm Geosnow, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.